Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Diamond of Pearl vs. Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke with your boy, Shady Sin. Welcome to episode number 36. We are 30 episode, 36 episodes into the series, and we are inching very, very closely to the end, even though we're kind of not. Um, <laughs> also joining me, as always, is the lovely man, Mr. Houndoomer. How are you going, my man? Doing pretty good. Ready to get going and get another badge, hopefully. Oh my gosh. I just realized I gotta <laughs> go through all the snow stuff. Ah, uh, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes. No. Anyway. Yep. <laughs> well, let's get. <laughs> oh. Make sure, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Go subscribe to him. And yeah. Let's get on with this. All right. Let's get to going. Three, two, one, go. All right. All right. One, two, three. Think. I think um, I am still battling my way through um, galactic hell at the moment. So, oh, lovely! As as you do, as you do. So you beat, or I beat the lake where all the Magikarp were, then mm -hmm. you go up through the snow stuff, take on Candace and beat that one up there, and then you have to go back to the original one where you started? Uh, so you've gone to the one to the right? Yeah, by Pastoria or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the one to the left? The one where you get your starter? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that, because that's where I lost uh, one of my buddies. Oh, I didn't battle you? <laughs> well, okay, then. That's a bit awkward. That's a, that's a bit awkward. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a Kuto at level 15. Mm -hmm. Level 15. And, yep, and I've got a level 38 Lugia out, so <laughs> this is not going to end uh, well for him. That's fine, just a bit of intimidation didn't hurt anyone. Yeah. So what's uh, what's been going on? What's been happening? What's been uh, you know, going oh, down? The usual, working. Nice. Uh, selling stuff, raising rabbits, and playing video games. What about you? Mm, about the same. Just same so you guys same. know, it's it's been a little bit since we did a recording, so we got some catching up to do. Yeah. <laughs> Extreme speed yeah. So artillery. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. what were you saying? Oh, no, I was just going to say, I can't remember if I talked about I was working last time. I can't remember. I think I did. About oh, your new okay. job and stuff? Yeah, pretty sure I did. It's I all kind remember. of melds together and... Yeah. Yeah, it does. Especially when we talk a little bit beforehand, so it's like... Wait, did we talk about this before or after? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh... There's a wild file oh, plume in man. here. Cool. Oh, Alright, I think man. I went the wrong way. Because <laughs> I have to go. Oh, I need rock smash to get through here and everything. Yeah. I mean, you just need. I think to get north, you just need rock smash. But. That could be. Uh... Well, I'm wondering if I can go over to the city on the other side. And then just, you know, skip that part, basically. I keep going to push... Yes. I keep going to use a different button to push start. So I've got it set up differently for a different uh, game, but it's not the same in this yeah. one. <clears throat> yeah, it'll get ya. It will get Very confusing. Get Where are the beds in this place? 
Route 211. Um, where are the beds? Dead. Come on. Beds. <laughs> I gotta be um, Am I gonna need rock climb to get up to the snowy city? No. Okay, because I see a rock climb area, but I don't think I have to get through there. Nah, you get rock climb. It's like hiding behind a house in the snow route, so. Oh, lovely. Love it when they don't just put them in a nice, obvious place for you. Mm hmm. Especially when it's one that you have to have to make it through certain places. Yep. Yep. Very uncool of them. Yes. But I mean, they've so done that are... since Gen 1 with strength. Oh, do they hard strength? Yeah, uh, you get it from returning the game warden's golden teeth. He gives it to you. And you do need it to beat huh. the game, but it's not something where it's just right out there in the open. Or here's your reward for doing this. Uh, okay. Flies a bit out of the way too, and Flash. Jeez, it's been so long since I've played. <laughs> Gen 1. Might have to do it sometime. I, I plan on it. I think... Um, Dang it, I am going to need um, Rock Smash to get through here, aren't I? Wait, nope. Okay. Yeah. I might be able to just use Strength. Is it Maybe. Strength? I think it's just Strength, actually. It all melts like... together, guys. We're figuring it out. Alright, that's enough of this. I need some, put some repels down. Um, I, um... By the time this probably goes up, I would have had finished my Soul Silver playthrough. Oh, yeah? How's that one going? Um, Dang, I didn't let's just say strength. things things happened and um, I wish they didn't happen like they did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, crap! Where do I get uh, strength? That I don't have strength. Oh, did you not get it from the tower? Crap! No, apparently not. Uh, Slash on town? Yeah, just south of that, mate. Well, that's gonna take me back a little bit. I feel like we talked about this oh. in the last episode or one before that or something like that. Yeah. I've that sneaking suspicion as well. Alright, time to get through here. You can get an encounter in here, can't you? Yes. I feel like I may have already done that, though. Dang it, yep, I haven't battled anybody in here. Well, on the plus side, these guys should be pretty easy to take out, I'm thinking. Yeah, this should be only like a level like, <laughs> what? 20? Yeah, the nose pass is 16 so far. Okay. Holy pig. damn. Ugh. Run, pig. So what have you been up to? Oh, no. Not a lot, really. It's recording and working and going to the gym and um, all that good stuff. I actually thought about um, playing, um, I don't know if you ever heard of it, it was for the DS. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. It's like an, I guess it's an RPG, isn't it? Kind of, hmm. yeah. Probably. It's funny, by the time this goes up, I'll have done a, a let's try of a game called just Mario and Luigi. And it's a RPG, a lot like uh, Paper Mario or Super Mario RPG and stuff. 
Ah. Oh. So I wonder if that cool. that one's for the Game Boy Advance. So I'm wondering if maybe the other one is like a sequel or something. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a sequel. Or just another RPG that they decided to do. Yeah, because... Um, yeah, because they released on the DS in 2005, and it's similar to those ones, yeah. Uh, branching out from Pokemon, huh? Yeah, just trying... I don't know, because I think I was... Oh, it's a scored sword stance. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> no, I think I was watching someone... Um, how are they doing? Uh, I was watching someone... Um, they are doing like a drawing thing, and they were drawing Mario, and the Mario kind of reminded me... Or the drawing they did of Mario kind of reminded me of it. Uh. So then I was like, oh... And then I just was like, oh, I should probably play it. So I ended up um, today, like, making a thumbnail, making um, Dang it. an overlay and God. stuff like that for it. Yeah, it's, it's always good to branch out a little bit. Mm. I don't think anybody does strictly one game or one type of game. Or, you know, like... No, I don't genre or that's still not the word I'm looking for but like you know all Pokemon type of thing or all Mario Kart or whatever everybody tries to get different stuff going which is kind of refreshing to be honest yeah it is well you only had one Pokemon cool <laughs> Oh my gosh, I found another experience share. Oh, yes. Now I have two of those. Hell yeah. Um, who do I want to give the other one to, though? What's your ability? Hmm. I kind of regret doing this double battle, but at the same time, I'm like, I probably should have just uh, not used ineffective moves but <laughs> it's hard to remember what types they are hmm true that and you got everything randomized hmm. all right let's see how this thing works <sighs> okay this Reggie still has but yeah, I've been working on uh, uh, a Metabots Let's Play. They had two different versions for the Game Boy Advance. One was a Metabee version, and the other was a Rakusho version. And so I'm playing oh, yeah. through the different ones, but with Metabots you can swap out parts and stuff, which is really cool, but I'm doing it with like all original parts for each one is in like meta beat parts stay all the same and then playing through his Raku show one's more of a shooter and the other's more of a physical fighter so doing like a comparison thing with that playing through one okay. and then playing through the other one and then based on my experience saying which one I feel like was better Ooh, that's actually kind of interesting but it's oh my gosh it's frustrating games why is very, it? Very, oh my gosh. There's a huge luck factor in there that's just ridiculous. I've had some battles that were just ridiculous for me, and then some that were very few, but ridiculously bad luck for the other team. If you haven't tried Ooh. them, you ought to give those games a try. They're, they're kind of interesting. Maybe just do a, a let's play of one of them or something like that and switch out the parts and all that. And, just kind of enjoy the game okay. but, in, but in between I took a break and I did uh, five different Game Boy Advance games like just the little let's try of them <clears throat> my goal is to see which one gets the most attention like the most likes and comments and stuff like that all this stuff will be already up before this video comes out too so but mm. um, whichever one gets the most 
attention and stuff like that, I'll probably do a Let's Play of next. Ooh, okay. Kind of see what the fans are wanting type of thing. No, it's always good. Yes, the playing at least. You ever do anything like that? Like throw out a little teaser for a couple different things and wait a little bit and see which one does better? And they'll be like, alright, um, so I'll go for that one. Uh, not really. Probably not to that extent. Sometimes it's nice just to do, you know, what you're wanting to do. Yeah, that's always a um, always a good thing because it always it always just translates better. Yeah, yeah, that's why whenever I did the five different games, I tested them out beforehand to see if they were games I would actually like playing, and then did them afterwards. So I know they're ones I'll enjoy. Okay. I tried. Let's see, Crash Bandicoot: The Huge Adventure. I don't know if you ever played any Crash Bandicoot games, but flipping awesome platformers mm -hmm. um, I actually have all three of the originals on the PlayStation oh my gosh there's so many people in here why are there so many people uh, I should have done this a long time ago but uh, oh don't worry did the Mario don't and worry, Luigi I'm... you're in a yeah. little stall thing too yeah I'm in the stall fest so yeah anyway <laughs> continue uh, did Mario and Luigi, did an old uh, Shaman King game they came out with for the Game Boy Advance. It's really weird. It's a lot like Pokemon. You can actually get different spirits and they have attributes and you can level them up and stuff like that and kind of train them and everything. Really weird concept huh. for a Shaman King game. Yeah, it sounds pretty unique though. You ever watch the anime for that? I don't think so. That yeah, came back on, or it was on whenever they still did Saturday morning cartoons, along with like Ooh. Ultimate Muscle, Fighting Foodons, and all kinds of stuff like that. But, I yeah, did one of that. Let's see what else was there. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, because, or Final Fantasy <laughs> Tactics in Advance, so I love those games. Then the last one was called Lunar Legends, I think. Lunar Legends. It's a Sounds RPG. Cool. Hmm. If you're into RPGs and stuff, it's it's one worth giving a check or giving a try. Again, yeah, it's on the Game Boy Advance, so. But I just make it easier to edit and upload and stuff. Hmm. Oh, Peach wants to learn ancient power. Hmm, she's a water type with bubble beam, ice punch, surf, and sucker punch. Is ancient power really worth learning? That omni boost would be um, pretty good, but... I mean, I like it. <laughs> oh yeah, I love the move. I don't think I'm going to teach it to it. I feel like having those two stab water moves, the ice move which is more powerful and then sucker punch which is guaranteed to hit if they're going to attack, might just work out a little bit better. Yeah, that would probably be the better play. That's a critical hit. So are you still in that double battle? Uh, no, I finally bet that, but... Um, I ended up in one, and I'm going to uh, end up in a second one here in a minute. Ooh, just found close combat. Very cool. That's pretty good. Alright, bring it on, um, people. Just, um... Yeah. Um... <laughs> I've... In Soul Silver, right? Uh, just, just as a thing, I recommend you guys go watch it. But <laughs> if you haven't, I recommend you do. I end up losing. Uh oh. 
spoiler. In the Elite Four. <laughs> yeah, spoiler, but yeah. Um, I think... That's, uh, lose, that's such a rough place to lose. I mean, I made the best out of what I had. I lost three Pokemon to one-hit KO moves. Jeez. Um, so, uh... That was a... And then I got stalled out by a Kingdra. Ooh. With one of the only Pokemon I still have left. So I had like no PP. But you know, make it work, you know. Dang. So are you going to raise up a new team and bring or go back in there? Or you just get to consider that a loss? Oh, I'll just take it as a loss. It's all part of the fun, really. Oh, no. Uh-oh, what you got? Oh no. Oh my god. Are you gonna lose somebody again? I almost did. Oh. I did half damage to this Flygon. And then it hit counter. Oh, dang. So I, f I honestly thought I had died, to be honest. <laughs> 24 HP left on my sweet coon, so kinda groovy. Oh man, and that would have been a rough loss. Yep. Oh man, do I have to battle these two or do they just give it to me? Uh, the elderly people? Yeah. They just give it to you. Yay, thank you. One gives you your cleanse tag and the other one gives you your strength, if I remember correctly. Cleanse tag? Is that the one I think of? The ghost one? I think it is. Yeah, 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 it's cleanse tag. Keeps wild Pokemon at bay. Alright. Why did that do nothing? This. Where are my. I'm very confused. Escape ropes. Crud, don't tell me I don't have any escape ropes. <laughs> uh, I may not have any escape ropes. That uh, feels bad. Yes. Ah, now I gotta run all the way back down. Well, at least it's not a very big place. And I'm gonna buy some nah. escape ropes. Pretty small. Pretty small. Ah, uh, champion Joey. Okay, you ever think about doing, champion. I think I've actually asked yeah. you this before, but things like Pokemon challenges? Yeah, um... Like, you ever watch anything like that? Yeah, I've watched, um... Um, what's their names? Uh, you know, United Gamer and Original 151, those guys. They do Pokemon challenges? I know they do uh, the Nuzlocke versus and stuff, but... Yeah, they're doing a they hardcore challenge one of... Oh. They're doing a hardcore of... Um, uh, uh, Gen 2. Nice. I'm actually working yeah, on a hardcore was... myself. Oh yeah, which one are you doing? Uh, I figured I'd start with the original and just do uh, doing the yellow version, but I'm oh. doing the, where I record it and then, you know, do all the editing and then, you know, put it in like a voiceover and put it all in one video type of thing. Oh, okay. Like a lot of them do, it'll be just one video for the entire thing. Oh. Which... Honestly, a lot of it makes it a lot easier because you can just sit there and, you know, have other stuff going on while you're recording and everything and just kind of pause the recording and only record whenever there's something interesting going on, like battling a gym leader or uh, catching a Pokemon or when one dies, which uh, has been way more frequently than it should have been. But, you know, <laughs> such is the nature. But yeah, the fact that you can't over-level past the gym leaders Pokemon and stuff sometimes is a bit of a hindrance. But, yeah, and especially if they've got coverage as well. Yeah, 
So far it's not been too bad. I haven't had many problems with any of the gym leaders. Most of them I went in a little under leveled. I think the only one I was close enough to it was for Brock. And that was just because I had... I didn't have anyone really good against his team, so... Do they have full teams of six or just the usual? On oh, a hardcore one, they just have their normal teams. Okay. Uh, the rules are that, you know, normal Nuzlocke rules. A lot of people yep. do type themes where you can only catch grass types or normal types or rock types or whatever, but I'm just doing a yeah, straight up. Yeah, I've seen up, those ones. I'm just doing a straight yeah. up one at the moment. It's like, you know, it's my first attempt at this. I think I'm just going to do a a regular one before I decide if I want to do stuff like that. And, I mean, I might not even do any more afterwards, so... I don't even know yet. Oh, that's true. But on top of the regular ones, uh... Let's see. You can't over-level past the gym leader's ace. So, for Brock, I think it was level... 12? And then Misty jumps up to, like, 21 and stuff like that. But what gets hard is, uh, in the yellow version, Koga's ace is 50, and Sabrina's ace is 50. Oh. So you, so you got two gems in a row where you can't get past level 50. That's kind of wild, considering. Yeah, considering he comes first. I, I thought that was a little weird, too. Oh my gosh, there's a Kyogre down here. Um, question for you. The... Yeah. Okay, you know, you go in Mount Coronet, and then you go down mm -hmm. to where it's all foggy and stuff. Is that a different area, or is that still Mount... count as Mount Coronet? It's still kind of Mount Coronet, unfortunately. I was afraid you were going to uh, say that. Alright. Yeah. You gotta die, Kyogre. Because you would've... That would've been a pretty sick encounter, though. Yeah, because I got a Master Ball, too. Actually, that would have been pretty, pretty good. Uh, that would have been so great. All right, Cyrus, are you gonna wipe my team? Oh, Cyrus is such a scary person, man. Yeah. They did it so well, and his music is so good. <laughs> yeah, a lot I love of people, his theme. A lot of people are really have to plan for him in the hardcore ones. Oh yeah, I can't level past the gym leader's ace. Uh, no items in battle, except for held items, and uh, yep. battle has to be on set mode. Um, I mean, that I've always wanted to little... try set mode, just as a normal Nuzlocke kind of thing. Oh yeah. Well, just to see what it's like to play. To let me play tell you, it's kind of it's very hard to switch train when you have it on set mode. So there's a lot more grinding I mean, yeah. involved. Yeah, I would imagine, yeah. Kind of a bit nutty. Uh, it can be. Man, I passed up a lot of items in there because I don't have Rock Smash anymore. What did I All right, you resist get rid of for that? Anyway. Resisted water. Gross. Wake up slap, that's right. All right, I'm at the snow. Uh, please do let me know in the comments, guys, if you love the Sarka scene as much as I do. Oh, uh, the music. Freaks. It's such a good theme. Holy the only thing I think that... It's a super potion? What the... Okay. Um, the only thing I would say is better is Symphia's theme. They did come up with some pretty cool music for some of those guys. Hmm. I would say like Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen 5 have some of the best um, themed music in terms of just like champion theme or uh, specific enemy theme or stuff like that. But yeah. Yeah. I always like the Viridian Forest music in the first game. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just hard to beat that one. And then you got the creepy music of Lavender Town. The Rockets oh, had yeah, some pretty that. cool music too. 
um, in their uh, hideouts and stuff. Team Plasma Gen 5's theme is pretty crazy as well. But, I mean, it's been a while since I played Gen 1, so it's like, um, when I do play it, I'll be like, oh, that's right, this music is actually pretty good. Yeah. They got some pretty good ones all around. All right, the levels are increasing quite a bit at this point. Yep. Because that's a level 35. Ooh. Weezing wants to learn mud shot. Mud shot. Da, 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 da. Uh, oh, that's so much damage. Don't heal and rest. Don't heal and rest. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. What's poison the turn. Turn one, that's cool. That's cool, buddy. Is it toxic or just regular poison? Uh, regular poison. Oh, okay. Well, at least it doesn't stack. Freeze? Then. Uh, no. No, it does not. Is that toxic damage? That gets bad. Holy crap. Yeah. Especially if you can keep them trapped in as well, like... Mean look toxic and protect. Mm-hmm. Man. That'd be rough. I don't know how I feel about a Milo tick, but... We're gonna freestyle it. <laughs> hmm. My is probably like 45. 45? Okay, I was wrong. All right, I was wrong. I was wrong. I take everything I said back. I apologize. Um, so 48. Yikes. And as a whirlwind, please bring out like someone I can actually use. That's not someone I can use. God damn it. Uh, oh gosh. Why would you Alright, my encounter that? here is Ah, it's a prugly. I mean, pretty fat cat. It is a fat cat, that is for sure. It's not a bad Pokemon or anything, I was just I keep hoping for a legendary. Hey, I honestly hope you get it, mate. I honestly. I got that Master Ball. I want to use it. Well, we got the mm. Legendary Encounter, though, still, don't we? Yes, I'm not sure if it's going to be a Legendary, though. I can't remember what we ticked for it. I think we did Legendary for Legendary. Okay. I just couldn't remember. I think. I guess we'll find out oh, when no, we get God. there. Wait, but doesn't the game give you a Master Ball, too? Yes. Uh, how do I plan on this? Oh, I suppose stacks, doesn't it? Yes, it's like rollout. Oh no. Oh um, no. Any trouble over there? Yeah. I think yeah. I might need to sack someone. Uh-oh. Dang it, I keep forgetting I have quick balls. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> uh, <sighs> Progly, stay in the no ball. You're gonna die. Oh, no. Are you gonna make it over there? Are you gonna catch up no, to me I'm on death? To... I'm gonna have to sack someone. Yikes. Not good, man. It's never good. Uh, 
Hey, I got super ugly. Nice. Um, it could, it wouldn't have taken any more hail damage. It would have fainted. Ooh, it's a water type. Depending on the ability, hmm. this could replace my uh, Dragonair that's a water type. But Prugly's more physical, isn't it? Yes, yes. Um, I think I don't really want to do this, but this is my only play. You sacking? What? Why did that do no damage? Uh, what's going on? You gotta talk to me here. Um, that's weird. I'm 15 levels lower than you. I should have died. Hey, it's small miracles, right? So I only got up to five times. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Great. Okay, effect. this might be risky. If I switch out to Skylord. Yeah. I know it's super effective. It's not, okay. I was gonna say that would if be I if it was dragon type, but it's randomized. If I fly. Right? Yeah. If I fly, he misses. Yeah, it and resets. it resets. Okay. Correct Amundo, just like rollout. Okay. I just Oh yeah, lovely kiss Jesus. I need to I just need to specify this bloody Goli score. Okay. He's an absolute unit. Oh yeah, it's pretty tanky Pokemon. Jesus, I forgot how tanky that boy is. It was a serious oh, upgrade for Gligar. Yeah, like, actually? Alright. Uh, we're at the end of the episode, so if you're in a battle, speed up or up. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see what's messing That's what up, I'm going to do. Um, I need to make there sure... We go. I got is that full HP, alright? Oh, you will be me. Jesus Christ. This is gonna be the most hardest part of this. Just constant switching shenanigans. Holy crud. God damn it. Um, what type of need? Is it paralyzed? Damn it. Alright, the only way I win this. Okay, I made it out of mine. Alright. Oh, we have an orange berry. Oh my god. Yeah, the one I, I just battled one. had a seal. A oh, Zapdos. you're joking. Uh oh. Really? You, you had to crit on that particular one? Are you battling a gym leader or just a trainer? I'm battling Cyrus. Oh, you're still battling him? Yeah. Dang, I thought you beat him already. Nah. You're joking, I lost my Gly score. Oh no, wait, you had the Gly score? I thought he had it. Nah, I did. Oh, I see. Jesus. That's rough. Oh my god. Had to crit on that one thing. It's always when you least expect it. Or when you least well, I got want a Master it. Ball, so. I'll take it. Dang. Huh. Wow. Oh. oh I'm never gonna battle him at Mount Coronet, too. Jesus. You gonna be alright in there? Oh my god. I lost my. So good though, my water fire glass wall. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys. Oh, okay. So much for watching today's episode. <laughs>
if you've enjoyed please like comment subscribe make sure you go subscribe to my boy appreciate As it any help is appreciated yes, uh, yes it anything is. you want to say my man uh, thank you for the support throughout it i uh, hope you guys stay tuned uh to for the finale which i'm guessing is going to be coming up in probably a few episodes or so probably in like five or six i don't know yeah. unless i lose all my pokemon <laughs> which looks like the case <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's always a chance. Also, uh, mm. put, get your votes in for which game series you want us to do next. Be it uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Ruby or Sapphire, right? Yeah. So Gen those 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. Yeah. So get your votes in on yeah. those on what you want to see. Yeah. Groovy. So we'll see you guys then. Catch you later, guys. Have a good day.